Vinny, do you want to do a quick vlog with mommy? <laughs> oh, oh no, you're coming for the camera. Oh no. Here, we'll, we'll do it together. This is fun. Do you see mommy and Vinny? So I made a vlog when I was pregnant, so like of a year and a half ago called I'm pregnant and on antidepressants because I was pregnant and I was on antidepressants, but it was really, really hard to find any articles or vlogs or kind of posts of just moms talking about, um, or parents talking about how they were on antidepressants while pregnant. And I just wanted to normalize it because I, <laughs> hi baby, I had not thought it was okay to be on antidepressants while pregnant because a past therapist told me that kind of once. Anyway, long story short, I went off of antidepressants for like a few months while we were trying to get pregnant and then when I was pregnant during the first trimester. Um, but then by the end of the first trimester, I was getting like really kind of dangerously depressed where I just um, was really, really not well and like it had been years since I had been that depressed and I like forgot how bad it could get. So I um, told my therapist, my therapist was like, you know, I think you should talk to your doctor. Like, And um, so I did and she was really, really supportive about it. And so I actually went back on the same uh, prescription I had. And anyway, you can hear the whole story about that in that vlog, I'll, I'll link it. But since I posted that, I. I get so many Instagram messages from moms who are pregnant and um, are on antidepressants, but you know, or were on them but went off because they got pregnant. And it's just something that I think we should talk about more because it's not helping to just not talk about it. Whatever decision you decide is the best decision for you, it's just gonna help if you are able to talk about it and not feel afraid to ask questions. So I was really glad. <laughs> Yeah, I was really glad I was brave and asked questions and asked my doctor that about it. I just wish I hadn't waited so long because, um, you know, those first three months of pregnancy are really special and, and I kind of had a hard time enjoying them even when I was, you know, on days when I was feeling like physically good and wasn't nauseous. I was just having a hard time because um, the depression was just getting, every day was getting worse. And, um, and so I just want people to, you know, empower themselves with the information earlier than I did when I was pregnant. The other reason I wanted to make this video is because from the I'm pregnant and on antidepressants video, which a lot of pregnant moms find, the follow-up question is like, how's the baby now? Because they see that the video was posted a while ago. And so I guess I just wanted to talk about my kiddo and how much fun we have. And that yes, he's like, totally healthy and happy and like just yeah just couldn't be more vibrant and curious and passionate <laughs> and vocal and expressive and he's doing yoga on the windowsill hey buddy how's it going what else can i say about having a baby while on antidepressants i'm really glad i did it so i also breastfed Vinny for like I was breastfeeding for like seven months, until he was seven months old. But um, yeah, I was on antidepressants the whole time and I am happy I was. Um, I was able to enjoy that time like so much. I totally think everyone should come to their own decision about antidepressants and if it feels right for them. For me, it did and for me it was a huge empowering move to kind of give up that I have to be perfect. I have to just eat the right food and get enough sleep and exercise for 50 minutes every day. Like, that's great if it works for other people, but I was like, I can't do that. That doesn't work with my lifestyle. And like also the pressure to be like perfect and consistent and like these kind of behaviors, um, spending like three hours a day just to kind of like get to like neutral was not something that sparked joy for me. And I, I just believe it's okay to get help. I just really believe it's okay to accept help, especially like women and non-binary people or just anyone who like is a little bit of a kind of over-functioner or like addicted to caretaking other people, like you deserve to take care of yourself. And that is only gonna make everyone around you happier. Come block with me. Hello. I mostly just want to model as a parent um, 
that I do not hold myself to an expectation of perfection because I don't want Vinny to hold Vinny's self to an expectation of perfection. Like as Vinny gets older and grows up and um, you know, just discovers who they are. I just don't think it helps anyone to feel like they have to do it the perfect way, otherwise they've failed. And for me, managing my depression on therapy alone and not using antidepressants, it just, it wasn't working for me. Because I really believe for me that the best way to manage my depression and anxiety is with this amazing balance of what therapy can give me and what my antidepressants can give me and this kind of just like foundational stability in my mood and I just believe it really allows me to not just be the person I want to be but to be the mom I want to be to be the you know, partner I want to be so yeah I just like there's no shame in like getting support and like accepting help to feel your best yeah to me this is also like part of my sustainable writing process is antidepressants and therapy you don't need to suffer to be a great mom you don't need to suffer to be a great artist and, you know that's what I want Vinny to take away from, from my example, the way I've decided to live my life that feels most authentic to me. Thanks for vlogging with me, bud. Are you picking your nose a little bit? <gasps> Hi, baby. My goodness, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, please don't bite. Please don't bite mommy's knee. Vinny, what else are you up to? You're 16 months. You're walking but even more so you're running, you're doing kind of the stomp style tap dancing. You love graham crackers. And shockingly, you don't like mashed potatoes or mac and cheese, which is crazy because that was my comfort food all through pregnancy with you. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I guess other health Vinny things. Vinny has never been sick. <laughs> he, yeah, never had a cold or the flu. Um, he's always been super healthy. He's. 99th percentile for height <laughs> um, and he's like you know just a, at the middle of the bell curve for weight kind of always has been um, yeah he's just a super healthy baby um, kind of started teething early but he really just was excited about walking yeah, yeah. Vinny wanted to walk Vinny was not yeah. really interested in crawling so in February I think Vinny took um, his first steps and that was really cute and so since then CrossFit, like baby is doing CrossFit, picking up boxes. Like even when he like was really new to walking, he would pick stuff up and carry it around and he just would joke and call it like baby CrossFit. I mean, yeah, like could not be a healthier baby, could not be a happier baby. And you know, he, but he's also like, he'll also express his feelings. Like I think I call him my like feelings role model because in my own kind of therapy journey, I've been like trying to slow down and like feel my feelings more in the moment rather than try to like kind of rush past them or busy myself past like those feelings of like, oh, I'm nervous, I'm afraid. And uh, Vinny just is such a great role model for someone who just feels their feelings as they come up and like with no judgment about those feelings. And I just love it and I find it super inspiring. Yeah. Ooh, with that toy, we haven't played with this one in a little while. I don't know that we ever really played with it. Vinny doesn't look like toys so much as like objects that are clearly not made for babies. <gasps> Hi! Oh, oh hello. <laughs> wow! Yeah, this is my camera. I got this to take family ah. photos ah. and family vlogs on the go. I love you. <gasps> I love you! We are gonna go play outside in the yard for a bit and maybe get the pool set up, the little baby pool. <laughs> Woo, nicely done. <laughs> Was that fun? Yeah. Come on down. Woo, all by yourself. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> Where it's gonna go, your pool? Yeah. <sighs> well, I'm going to wrap up this vlog, but yeah, I basically just wanted to tell anyone who needs to hear this, it's really okay if you need antidepressants to manage your depression while pregnant. I'm so happy I made the decision to go back on antidepressants. And yeah, so I just wanted to put my experience with it out there because 
it was very hard to find like anything about people having just like good experiences where they're like, yeah, I'm glad I did it because I think there's still so much shame around it um, and stigma around medication, antidepressants, you know, therapy even. I just, I don't believe you need to feel any shame around all of that and um, even if nobody in your life right now gets why you need the support, like, I just want you to know that it is okay for you to get that support and um, my heart goes out to you because I know how hard it can be to be facing this stuff on your own. Um, but yeah, you're, you're not alone in wanting help and in believing that you deserve help and that you do not have to do it all on your own. I don't believe we're meant to live as these like independent people. I believe we're meant to receive help and support from each other, so. Yeah, so go, so go get curious and ask questions, ask brave questions about what you need and what you want um, because what you want for yourself, like even if you're scared other people don't want this for you, I mean, I consider that to be what you need. Um, when you just really want this help for you, that, that's what you need and I'm really glad I got to that point with my the health journey and finally being like, you know what, I don't believe it's wrong to get help with antidepressants and then I found a new therapist and found a psychiatrist and got the support I needed and it was just like, it was just game changing in the best way. Yeah. So I'm gonna sign off and wish you well. I'll vlog again soon. And yeah, again, you can watch the original video I posted um, while I was pregnant somewhere here. I'll link it. And um, yeah, I'll be posting more vlogs soon just updates, lots of life update stuff because lots of exciting stuff has been happening and I, and now I'm just like really excited to share it. So you can look out for that. Woo! <laughs> you did it! Good job! Yay! Go ahead and like this video if you liked it and uh, feel free to leave a comment with, you know, your story or questions and you can get a conversation going in the comments. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and you can hit the bell notification so that I believe that means you will always be notified when you, I don't really know how it works. But anyway, um, if you don't want to miss a video, you can hit that bell, bell, that bell icon. And yeah, thanks for being here, part of this community. Love you guys, bye. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm standing on the host. <gasps> there you go. You gotta do it again. Wow, yes. oh, well done, babe. <laughs> Good stuff. Good swimming. Look. Yeah. You. What? Bubbles? What? Camera? Yeah. <laughs> I love your voice. Oh, thank you. Do you like my hair tie? It's like a scrunchie. I found it while finally going through these old boxes.